Money may not be able to buy happiness, but it can provide a sense of security. You may always feel like your life is one step away from a financial disaster if you don't get a hold of money management. Welcome to Business 5, the place where the future millionaires unite to achieve greater success. If you are not subscribed yet, you're being left behind. Hello millionaires, welcome back. Life may not get easier when you handle your finances wisely, but you will have more time to focus on the important things in your life. Fortunately, getting your money in order is not difficult. Let's take a closer look for how to properly handle your finances. Taking care of your finances does not have to be difficult. Instead, take control of your finances by implementing these tips one at a time. Number 1. Set the proper bank accounts. Your financial success depends on having the correct bank accounts. Trying to manage your finances without the proper bank accounts is akin to try to maintain your vehicle without the necessary parts. You'll need to open a bank account, a savings account, and an investment account. These are the foundations of financial prosperity. It's critical to open both a checking and a savings account so that you can readily distinguish between short-term expenditures and long-term savings. Leaving your savings in your checking account makes it all too simple to waste your hard-earned money without realizing it. Number 2. Take a look at your financial status right now. Although it may be frightening, you will not be able to better your financial status unless you assess your existing situation. If you have any outstanding debt or high spending that are harming your budget, be brutally honest with yourself. Celebrate your wise financial decisions. Make a list of everything so you can see the big picture. Number 3. Make a financial strategy. It's quite easy to run out of money if you don't have a strategy. After all, the logic of treat yourself is simple to accept. You can be disappointed with your savings if you say yes to too many unnecessary spending. Take the time to create a budget to tackle this. Make a plan for how you'll spend your money. Consider your long-term financial goals in addition to your current spending. You should also pick a budgeting approach that suits your needs. Number 4. Set Money Goals Setting goals is a wonderful idea if you want to become serious about your money. Consider where you want to be financially in the future. There is no right or wrong answer, but you should think about your ambitions and how money will affect them. Make clear and specific money goals once you've figured out how money will fit into your life. Number 5. Keep track of your finances daily. You can't move forward unless you know where you stand. Every day, set aside 5 minutes to review your budget. Do you have a habit of overspending? Are you on the right track? It's crucial to understand. It may be tedious to review your financial condition on a daily basis. It does not, however, have to take a long period. Use an app or a spreadsheet to swiftly assess your financial situation and get back to living your life. Number 6. Keep track of your spending. Examine your spending when you begin to examine your finances more closely. Look for expenses you can eliminate from your monthly budget. Even removing a $20 unneeded cost from your budget can result in a year-end save of $240. Work lunches, a box subscription, or your television bundle or just a few simple things to cut out. Number 7. Check your earnings. This may seem self-evident, but it is really crucial to know exactly how much money you make. Take a moment to calculate your net income, not simply your total revenue. With this number, you'll be able to budget more precisely. Consider starting up a side hustle if you're dissatisfied with your overall income. A profitable work-from-home side hustle may fit 
into your schedule and help you boost your finances significantly. Negotiating your wage is another technique to increase your earnings. Don't be hesitant to present your boss with statistics to back up your request for a raise. You never know what they might be able to provide you with. Number 8. Start paying down your debt. Debt is a major source of financial stress. It has an impact on not just your current budget, but also your future savings. Take your debt seriously and make paying it off a top priority. Consider various debt repayment plans and choose the one that best suits your needs. Don't let debt get in the way of your other financial objectives. Make a plan to deal with it right now. Number 9. Know your credit score. Your credit score is a three-digit figure that has a significant influence on your financial situation. Lenders are more inclined to give borrowers with excellent credit terms and cheaper interest rates. A little interest rate reduction when applying for large loans such as mortgage can save you thousands of dollars. Improve your credit score by taking action. Start by retrieving your credit report to look for any problems, and then utilize a credit monitoring program to avoid making any more mistakes in the future. Making on-time payments and keeping your credit utilization rate low are two other strategies to boost your credit score. A good credit builder account can assist you in rebuilding your credit while also preventing you from incurring new debt. Number 10. Create an emergency fund. An emergency fund is really important. Unfortunately, life surprises you with huge pills when you least expect them. These unexpected costs are frequently accompanied by unpleasant events such as a hospital visit or a job loss. You never know when an emergency will strike, but you can be ready for it. Make it a point to set aside money for your emergency fund with each paycheck. Many experts recommend having an emergency fund of 3 to 6 months worth of spending. This, however, will be determined by your risk tolerance. If you would feel better if you had more money saved, you can increase your emergency fund. Establish a separate savings account for your emergency fund. Otherwise, it would be far too easy to blow this money. You won't have to worry about the money side of things if an emergency rises. Instead, you can concentrate on the current emergency. Later on, you'll thank yourself for taking this step. Number 11. Make allowances for large spending. While certain bills are completely unpredictable, you can plan for other months ahead of time. For instance, you may be required to pay for insurance all at once which might cost thousands of dollars. Create a sinking fund instead of scrambling to come up with the finances for that bill. You can set aside a portion of each paycheck for these large costs to ensure that you have the money to cover them. This is when having a budget comes in helpful. You'll be able to include this sinking money into your budget and never have to worry about unexpected costs again. Number 12. Start saving for your retirement. It may appear like saving for retirement now is superfluous. After all, you're not going to retire for a long time. It is obviously vital that you begin saving for retirement as soon as possible. You should at the very least begin contributing to an employer-sponsored retirement programs. Make sure to take advantage of any employer-provided matching money. Make a donation with every paycheck to reach your annual retirement savings objectives. Number 14. Begin investing. If you want to generate long-term wealth, investing is an important part of the process. Investing for a long time might yield spectacular results. As you invest more each year, your money will gradually expand. Number 15. Evaluate your insurance options. Insurance can be costly, especially if you are not adequately covered. At least once a year, review your insurance options. 
by comparing insurance codes from several companies, you might be able to get a better rate. Take a moment when you're looking at insurance to make sure you're properly covered. In addition to the necessities such as healthcare and automobile insurance, renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, life insurance, and disability insurance are all options to consider. To improve your protection, you may need to add more policies to your insurance portfolio. Make sure you've figured out what kind of insurance you'll need. Number 16. Identify your goal. It will take some time and work to stay on top of your finances. You'll probably feel like giving up at some time. It's an entirely natural feeling. Finding a reason is the best approach to avoid personal finance burnout. Why are you interested in learning how to handle your finances? What motivates you to take steps to improve your financial situation? Getting rid of crushing debt, becoming financially independent, and spending more time on the things that light you up are just a few of the frequent reasons. Make sure you have one, whatever it is. Take a moment to consider why you're doing what you're doing. Understanding why you want more money is more important than merely wanting more money. Number 17. Expand your knowledge. The more personal finance knowledge you have, the better. Seriously, having a better understanding of personal money will never hurt you. Any new information you gain can be used to make changes to your own finances. Fortunately, there are numerous personal finance resources available. Two excellent sources of information are podcasts and books. Number 18. Reciprocate. It's time to give back now that you've gotten your money under control. Setting aside time or money to donate will assist you in making a difference whatever you desire. You'll be able to devote more time and money to causes you care about if you properly manage your finances. Even if you can merely help distribute your acquired personal finance information, that might be a useful present to someone who is in need of assistance. It does not have to be tough to manage your funds, but you must begin. Don't let your money spiral out of control before you take control of them. Small steps taken along the way can help you avoid a massive financial crisis on the road. Make the decision to begin properly managing your funds right now. Over time, implement each of these suggestions. Allow yourself to not become overwhelmed. Instead, take one step at a time. Always keep in mind that you have the ability to efficiently handle your funds. It will only take a little time and effort to get your finances in order. If you're interested in making full-time income at your home, you can go to this first link in the description below. So millionaires, how do you handle your finances? We love to hear your comments so please join the discussion. Thanks for watching! We appreciate your support always. So don't forget to subscribe and please leave us a thumbs up. See you on the next one. Take care.